Hello everyone, this is Paul and welcome to Thinking Squared. Today I'm going to try to do a little bit more of a free flow presentation with less editing. We'll see how it goes. Today I'm going to talk about how Square's purchase of Title combined with Cash App could equal a jukebox bonanza of money. Many of you may be familiar with Square already as a small insert to your cell phone that allows you to swipe and take credit cards uh, as a small business. However, Square does a lot of other things. They have a point of sales terminal. Uh, let's check out their website here and we'll see some of the other services they offer through software through their terminals for small businesses. We have checkout links, create payment links, buy buttons or QR codes. They help with marketing. Uh, they do restaurant point of sale. They help with uh, as well with restaurants with payroll, with scheduling. Um, they do you know general retail point of sales appointments if you're a hairdresser for example if you have a salon they can help with appointment setting they have software for that they have checking available they have payroll available they do small business loans dashboards and analyt analytics for your small business so really Square not only allows small businesses to accept credit cards but they have a, a suite of software that allows businesses to be more efficient and have access to all the same uh, different software tools that a larger business would. In addition, Square also has the Square App Marketplace, which is equivalent to a Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, where third-party developers can make applications and uh, sell them to Square users uh, through the Square platform. And these are usually created for very specific industries or specific needs. So not too long ago, Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Square, announced that they will be buying Tidal, which is a music streaming service. The general idea behind this is that Square will be able to help artists uh, on the Tidal uh, platform the same way they've helped small business owners with uh, being able to accept credit cards. So they view musicians and artists as entrepreneurs, and they think they can help create a suite of tools and software to help these artists grow. Uh, basically creating a, a business around their music or their art, in this case mostly music, uh, is what Tidal is, is doing right now. So Tidal is a streaming service just like a Pandora or like a Spotify specifically for music. One of the things that they, is different about them, there's no free option as of right now, it's all paid, prescription, uh, paid subscriptions, and uh, they are known for their quality of music that they uh, the quality of the streaming that they allow on their service. I'm going to scroll down here and see you get, you get the same things. Like there's 80 plus million songs, ad free because you're paying, right? Mixes and radio, hand picked playlists, videos, live streams, uh, anywhere you want, right? As long as you're connected to the internet. Uh, and you can sign up for different qualities of uh, streaming here. The very highest one here is high res quality is uh, 2,304 to 9,216 kilobytes per second, which would be a pretty high quality. I'm assuming you have to download some of that in order to get that high of a quality streaming. That might be difficult depending on uh, what type of connection you have. And here the premium connection is $9.99 a month and the Hi-Fi uh, connection is $19.99 a month. And I know many of you probably already know what Cash App is, but a quick review of Cash App is like a Venmo essentially. Um, you can send money to other people with Cash App. You can have a, connect a debit card to it. You can use it as a bank account essentially. You get a routing and account number and you can have money direct deposited. And now you can invest with it as well. You can buy Bitcoin with it or you can buy stocks as well. Alright, so we reviewed kind of what Square does and the services they offer, right? And we talked about Tidal and some music streaming business and Square's plans to ultimately ultimately help artists the same way that they've helped small business owners. But I think there's a, a cool integration that could happen here that would be relatively simple. I'm not a programmer, but I would assume that it's somewhat simple. Uh, that could generate some, you know, significant revenue for Square. I mean, not super big, but, you know, it'd be a cool feature uh, to do. So my thought behind this is that Square could integrate Tidal into their app store uh, to allow me retail locations to stream music via the Tidal service to all their customers. Now, you can't do this um, just willy-nilly. There's rules around this and regulations because you're broadcasting, essentially. Um, so we're going to jump over here to... <sighs> 
Pandora's website here. Um, so Pandora is also a music streaming uh, service, as many of you are familiar. And we got Pandora for business, right? And that's because, like I said before, that you need special licenses to broadcast music in your location. Uh, and you obviously don't want ads popping up uh, for your customers to listen to that. So we keep scrolling down in Pandora's site here, and we got a monthly subscription of $26.95 for the business streaming. All right, we're gonna jump back to my spreadsheet here. So understanding that, uh, I found some numbers online that you know I think they're ballpark, right? So we're gonna go with them. As the as, as of 2017, there is roughly two million people using Square uh, to process credit cards, and I'm just I threw in a 15% growth rate, and I just grew that out to 2021. So we're assuming about 3.5 million. Uh, business, small business owners are using uh, Square to process credit cards. Now, a vast majority of these people uh, have are just you know maybe like a small artist selling some paintings or something, and they have it available to sell at a small farmers market or etc. Or someone at a farmers market, for example, this would be a great uh, use case for Square. Someone to use Square. Uh, however, these people are not going to be broadcasting music in a physical re retail location. Uh, and I found that about 61% of Square's users do less than $125,000 of revenue a year. I'm assuming this is not enough to sustain a retail location. Uh, so that's about 2.1 2 million of the 3.5 million Square users that I predict, uh, predicted here. That, remain, that gives us a remaining of about 1.4 million uh, Square users who would be doing more than $125,000 of revenue. Uh, now, you go out online, you can look. The average restaurant is going to do a little over a million dollars uh, of revenue per year to be able to sustain itself. So I figure you got to do about at least $500,000 of revenue to maintain and uh, support a retail location. So here, you know, I took the I took the remaining businesses times 0.333, just a kind of a ballpark guess of how many of these Square users are doing enough revenue to support a retail location. So that gives about 466 Square users that could do enough revenue to support retail location. Now, not all these retail locations are going to be ones that want to play music or have customers inside of them. So I took said just ballparking again. I'm going to say half of the these companies that do enough revenue um, are going to be retail and they're going to maybe want to play music in their store. So that gives us about 233 users. So here you can see I took the 466 times 0.5 to get half. And then we will just use the Pandora price of $26.95 a month for a business license to stream music and that comes out to $323.40 a year. And then we take the 233,000 business uh, businesses that may want to stream music at times the 323 year and we get a revenue of about 15 million dollars a year for square now this is going to be a huge win um, but I think it, this gives more exposure to title I think it's a, a quick win and uh, for a potentially quick win that can generate this much in revenue and as square grows internationally this could really help title grow internationally as well so I, I think it's just a good uh, synergy for these two companies it's a quick easy win and it can it's gonna benefit both both title and square relatively quickly in my opinion so now I know you're thinking probably Paul you talked about how square can integrate between title and cash app and why that would equal jukebox money well and here's my little idea behind that I thought it'd be cool if you could integrate all three so that if someone's at a restaurant that has Square that's using Title for streaming and then there's a Cash App user inside that restaurant they could maybe through GPS um, or maybe through some a QR code on the tables that the Cash App user could then buy or request a song to be played in that restaurant or that location while they're awaiting um, to you know to enjoy and there could be some revenue generated from that just to kind of run through the thought experiment here we got that 233,000 locations that would potentially want to purchase title streaming music uh, to for their customers and I said again we're ballparking just to kind of see how this would play out half of those would be a location where someone would want to request a song because they're sitting in there waiting uh, or enjoying food or whatever right 
And then let's just assume 20 songs get requested per day at each of these locations. And we're gonna go with a cost of 99 cents to request each song. So I just took the 116,000 locations times 20 songs a day times the 99 cents and we get $2.3 million. Uh, this could be a lot not larger number. I don't know how to get proper estimates for number of songs that would potentially be requested in a restaurant per day if this service was offered. Uh, and there may be a lot more locations that would want to do this than, uh, than I'm estimating. I know there's over a million physical locations of restaurants. It's hard to know how, and a lot of those are chain restaurants, so it's hard to know how, much, how well penetrated Square is into those chain restaurants and how many of those locations would then want to do it. But this is just, you know, I like to do this to think about, you know, different potential ways of generating revenue for the company and, you know, ballparking some general ideas that, uh, to see how what how it would play out and how it could potentially impact the financials of Square. And again, I think this is kind of more of a cool factor or more of a, you know, a quick, quick wins for Square, not necessarily gonna change the outlook of the company's financial future, but it would be something cool that I'd like to see, and I think it'd be a fun idea for them to do. Uh, if you enjoyed my content, please subscribe, hit the like button. Thanks for listening to this point, and I uh, hope to see you next week.